this morning's coffee. Don't ask me why, but it seems like today is going to be just one of those days. One of those days that I dread. A day that I probably will wish that I had stayed in bed. First it started out at about 3 a.m. when I awoke because, well, I really don't know, but I couldn't get back to sleep. So I get up and do my bathroom thing and get dressed, get the dog ready to take outside, feed the bird first so he will shut the heck up. Why does he think that he has to yell and scream first thing in the morning? even when he has food and water. Next, I feed the cat because he insists by meowing that he is hungry. Then finally, after watching the dog do the happy, I really need to go outside dance, I take her out. For a dog that begged me to go out, you would think she wanted to do something out in the yard. Yes, she did want to do something. She wanted to smell every blade of grass, any fallen leaves, bark at the squirrel, show how tough she is to the wind, before she finally decides it is time to relieve herself. So we come back into the house and get her food ready for her. Now, finally, but only after every animal has been fed can I put the coffee on the pot to brew. Coffee is brewing. Mm -hmm. Why, oh why does it take so very long to brew? Okay, now I get it. I need to plug the pot into the wall. Who in the heck unplugged the coffee pot? Man, am I upset. Wait a second. It was me. When I was using the toaster for a pop-up pastry last night. Note to self. Buy one of those dual plug-in thingamajigs at the dollar store today. My bad. Coffee is ready. And I am now putting it to my lips. Ah, oh, everything is right with the world. Ah, oh, good coffee.